I don't feel Gramps' domain anymore. That's because we've left the forest. Our adventure officially starts here. First off, we need to find Alicia and let her know she's being targeted. And then, we'll take down that fox guy. It's best we avoid confrontation with Hellions as much as possible. But... I want to avenge Mason just as much as you do. But we're just a Seraph and a human. Neither of us with any power to purify malevolence. Never mind defeating him. Whether we could even drive him off by ourselves is iffy. And we can't rely on Gramps' assistance anymore. You're right, Mikleo. Watch for the pauses between attacks. It's amazing how they can move without arms and legs. Beast Thunder! Let's go! Dance and Not bad. Not yet! Can't believe we'd run into a hellion all of a sudden. What luck. Quite strange. I hope it's just a coincidence. Could it be I'm attracting them because they know I can see them? Who can say? It's too early to tell. It'll attack once it gives chase. We managed to escape for now. I knew it couldn't have been a coincidence. They're attracted to us somehow.
Look, there's the lake. And there's a huge city. Let's go check it out. like I'm actually in another world. It's great to have a field trip and all, but try not to get us lost, please. <laughs> we'll be just fine. I got us a map. Oh, you mean the one that's in the Celestial Record? It's kind of old, though. I'll probably need to redraw parts of it as we go along. Kind of trouble? Looks like it. The cart stopped. A traveling caravan of merchants. I'm Agil, the captain. She's Rose. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. Nice to meet you, too. You finally learned how not to be a creeper. Shut it. Oh, hey. So if you're a traveling caravan, where are you traveling to? <laughs> We're going all over the world. Wow. We're protected by a free trade treaty, meaning we have a free pass to pretty much go anywhere we please. Sure, we get asked to smuggle all sorts of crap, but for us, trust is first and foremost. Dishonorable trade is fine for dishonorable people, but we do things our own way. And we're damn proud of it. This must be the famed capitalism of humans. Sure seems that way. Yeah. We're planning to stay in Lady Lake for a while. If you need anything, just give us a holler. Yeah. We will. Thanks. Though they really ought to focus on their cart before drumming up business. <laughs> oh, wow, that's some knife you got there. Think you could part with it for a thousand gold? Aw, too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. Oh, wow, that's some... Then we have a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks a bunch. Let me know if there's anything else. Saray, there's a dog here. Oh, huh. Hey, Miklio, why don't you pet him? I heard Princess Alicia came through here when she got back to the capital. I would have loved to see the so-called Princess Knight for myself. Princess Alicia, huh? Phew. Sounds like she made it back safe. Glad to hear that Fox Freak didn't catch up to her. But still, to think that she was royalty. No kidding. A straight-up princess? A princess, a knight, and she explores ruins on the side? How'd she wind up with that gig? Won't know until we ask her. That's true. Besides, Foxy Loxy might be in town waiting for a chance to get at her. Yeah, we've got to let her know.
The entry paperwork? Sure, take care of it now, and I'll let you in just as soon as that cart's fixed. All right, I'll be right on it. <laughs> hey, everyone. Sorry about the hassle. Well, that was well-timed. Welcome to Lady Lake. what Lady Lake is like. I can't believe it. Oh, so this is how humans live. Don't they find it overwhelming? Wow. Gosh, you'd think so. Just remember, this isn't a sightseeing trip. The real question is, do we try to find Alicia first or look for the Fox Man? So, let's have a look around town for now. Good call. Let's gather information. Hey, son, how about these duds? Made from real silk. My old lady will swat me for it, but they're yours for just 860 gall. Oh, is that cheap? Saray, behind him. Uh, should we give it what for? And have everyone think you're attacking the street vendor? You want to tour the inside of a human jail cell? To everyone else, he looks just like an ordinary human. Oh, yeah. Understand now, child, no matter how tough things get, stealing is stealing. Shut up, old man, you smell like farts. Different? Indeed. We'd best not get involved. Smell like you'd be mighty tasty. Hey.
dog. What's gotten into it? He's here. No mistake, that's the Fox Man. After him. So Alicia really is the Fox Man's target. Looks like it. He probably retreated for now because of the commotion. thought that he would be this fast. The dog's still chasing him. We can't let him get away. <laughs> ah, it's safe. Looks like he cornered it. Are you ready? Of course. Your chicken hunting days are over, Fox. So, you're really that eager to die, are you? than I remember. When we fought him back in Elysia, he must have been weakened by Gramps' blessing. I'll burn you to cinders! Take that! <laughs> Miklio! <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. A fitting end for work. <gasps> Boss! No! I swear! I wasn't quiet. Who who are you? We won't warn you again. Be silent. Have you forgotten our code, Lunar? You're all out of second chances. Understood? Go. The assassination order was a mistake. Princess Alicia will no longer be our target. You expect me to believe that? We have our honor. Stay. The princess's enemies are legion. For those who wish to remove her, assassination is but one option among many. You have bigger worries than who we are or what we do. 
I suggest you hurry to the pedestal, where the sacred blade is kept. Why are you telling me this? Honor. So, I guess I should be thanking you for saving us. Hmm. Uh. Hey, are you alright? What? What in the world? Looks like we were saved by an assassin's guild. By a what? They were after Alicia by mistake or something. They took that fox guy away with them. But more than that, it looks like Alicia's not out of danger yet. Looks like? What's going on? Hey, I don't get it any more than you do. Let's just hurry to that pedestal. No entry. If you want to check out the festival, go out front. What gives? You're letting him through. Well, that's because I'm festival staff. That's right. Authorized personnel only. Everyone else, move along. But it's urgent. Can't you do anything? Afraid not. Do you need a hand? You look like you're in a bind. I bet you want to get at that pedestal now, don't you? Yes. Alicia could be... They don't need to know that. I mean, if you could help me out, it'd really make my day. Sure thing, but we'll need some cash. Cash? Yep. Remember the guard back there? He's not averse to a little grease on his palm, if you know what I mean. We can get you through. How much? Let's see... I think 1,000 gold ought to cover it. Leave it to us. Alright, let's go! This is the guy. You good? All right then. I'll be taking your sword. Let's have it. Well, that was easy. Well then, we got to get back to work. Thanks so much. through all that trouble and we can't see the pedestal. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> well, sorta. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Being invisible has its benefits. Seriously? Hey, Saray, come over here! What is it? Saray? Alicia! Is that you, Saray? Welcome! And who may this be? This is Saray. Ah, yes, the one who rescued our princess way out there in the ruins. Saray, this is Lady Maltran. 
she's been appointed as the committee leader for the festival this year. She is also the one who taught me the way of the spear. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. It is a pleasure. By any chance, did you come here to attempt the trial of the blade? Not just that. To tell you the truth. What this mysterious organization has told you is true. There are indeed those who think less than favorably of me. But even so, I cannot live my life in fear of them. But... but Alicia... Thank you so much, Saray. I really appreciate your concern. Soon, the finale of the festival, the Flames of Purification, will begin. Please enjoy yourselves. So this is what states people deal with. She didn't even flinch. Oh, that's right. Check out the pedestal. Oh, right. If no one else can see her, does that mean she's a Seraph? You probably can't remove the sword unless you can speak with her, meaning no ordinary person can do it. Incredible! So that means the legends were true! Hey, say something to her. Me? Unless you want me looking like a total weirdo. But still... Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens of Lady Lake. For the past several years, we have abstained from our beloved festival in light of the general state of the world. But this year, thanks to the grace and assistance of Our Lady Alicia, the Sacred Blade Festival can be held once more. We yet live in a time of crisis. Violent weather, geopolitical tensions, pestilence, famine, the list goes on. However, I believe that it is precisely times such as these that make our cultural traditions and celebrations all the more vital to maintain. Oh, wondrous Lady of the Lake, show us your power! Merciful Lady of the Lake, hear our plea. Cleanse us of our sins and woes with your flames of purification. Citizens of Lady Lake, this jubilant festival shall be as a prayer to the heavens that we may know peace and prosperity. Some prayer, all right. This prayer of yours gonna give us our jobs back? The Council already seized the crops and weaponry trades for the state. They might as well declare war and get it over with. Hey, lady! You trying to kill us? This ain't nothing but the Council giving itself a pat on the back! Well, we're not gonna stand for it! Find someone else to lick your boots! Silence! Do not disturb the festival! Enough! Ha! Serves you right! <laughs> this whole riot was a setup. Look at that guard! This must be the work of the Chancellor. I can't believe they'd involve the citizens they swore to protect in the power struggle. Are we really so corrupt? Alicia! Saray, get to safety! No! You mustn't give in to hostility! Such emotions will breed hellions! <laughs> To a hellion. The evil in people's hearts gives rise to malevolence. Once it reaches a certain point. Lady of the Lake! Can you do something? You have the power of purification, do you not? A seraph? And you can see me? Yeah. That's not good. Nick 
Leo, put those flames out! The black flames are part of the Hellion itself. The most I can do is manage the regular ones. Okay. Saray, you really can see Seraph and Kayla. This isn't looking good. The Hellions are coming out of the woodwork. The power of purification is not my own. It is a power given to those who would draw the sacred blade and become my sword. Then I'll do it. What? Saray! Do not be hasty! To become my sword is to serve as a vessel for me to dwell in and to assume the shepherd's burden. Blessed with the power of purification and abilities beyond human ken, cursed to be scorned by others and wrought with despair. To protect this land from the Hellions means a constant stream of agonizing decisions. It is a lonely battle, the likes of which you can scarcely imagine. That's the burden of the Shepherd? And you want Saray to take all that on right here and now? It is not to be done lightly. May I ask you your name? Oh, of course. I am Lila. Lila. My dream is to investigate ancient ruins all over the world. I believe that the legends of the past hold knowledge about how humans and Seraphim might one day live in harmony together. I must find a way to make that happen. To bring humans and Seraphim together again, as it was in the days of yore. If purifying the Hellions will save both humans and Seraphim, then... then it's the best chance I'll ever have to make that dream a reality. Are you... really okay with this? Saray. That's why... I shall become the Shepherd! I offer myself to you as your vessel, and shall bear your burden! I've waited long for this moment. For one who is pure of heart and free of corruption. A shining vessel to whom my words will reach. Now, Saray! Take up the sword! You got it! you? Get back, Alicia. <laughs> hey! You'll be able to handle the Hellions, right? Yeah. Just take care of the rest of the flames. Hmm. <clears throat> with my fire. Purify them with the Shepherd's power. Got it! What? No! Saray! Are... are you really? Yep. I... am the Shepherd now. Calm yourselves at once! 
Chancellor Bartlow. Lady Alicia, we received word that there was a civil disturbance among the commoners. Indeed. However, it has already been quelled. By the appearance of the Shepherd. The Shepherd, you say? Citizens of Lady Lake, I hereby announce that this year's Sacred Blade Festival has come to a close. You heard him! Clear out at once! Please don't hold up traffic! Keep moving! Milady, I should like to ask the cause of all this at a later time. Lady Maltran, your presence is also requested. The Shepherd of all things. <coughs> Now then, it is time for me to return to my place within you. Oh, yeah, I am the vessel after all. Now that's a creepy sight. What the... Saray? What's wrong? It's because I have entered his body. I'm afraid he'll have a high fever lasting about three full days. What? Why? Presumably the human body is reacting to the sudden presence of unknown powers inside of it. Those who make a pact with a Seraph usually wind up bedridden for a time. So that's what happens to one who becomes a vessel. I don't feel so good. Hey, are you alright? Not really. I think I'll take a nap that for about three days. Saray! Well now, things are getting interesting.